So before we get this video started, I just want to quickly mention about the couple of B Alpha events that are happening in Los Angeles. So this Saturday's B Alpha event on November 3rd has been capped out. Over 700 people signed up. So for those of you who signed up, I'll see you guys there. For those of you who missed it, there will be another set of the Alpha Days happening the weekend after. This one's gonna be hosted at Sammy's Camera. This B Alpha is gonna be happening on November 9th and November 10th, and it's gonna be a little bit different from the other B Alphas. It will be hosted at Sammy's Camera, and there's gonna be 12 different content creators gonna be presenting, gonna be doing free workshop, including myself, Manny Ortiz, Francisco Joel Hernandez, Sabrina Dang, and Brooke Shaden, and there's many more. I personally myself will be doing a video workshop as well as a gimbal walk. Yeah, think of a photo walk, except we'll be using gimbos and doing some walks with the model. There will be a link in the description box below for you to RSVP for this event and make sure you do it quick because spots are filling up. I hope to see you there. Now back to the video. <sighs> All right, in a bit of a dilemma right now. I'm not sure which lens to get. As you guys know, the Sony 24mm f1.4 G Master has been released last Friday. But there's also another lens that's coming out early in December and that is the Zeiss Bodice 40mm f2. Of course, I can gas it up and just get both lenses and call it a day, but there's plenty of other things to buy too. Don't forget, Christmas and Black Friday is coming up. I need to save a little bit of money for other techie stuff too. So my budget really has room for only one lens. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys some of my thoughts on both of these lenses and hopefully it'll help you guys in making a decision as well. So I'm not gonna talk too much about the 24 millimeter G Master lens just because I already have a dedicated video talking about it. So if you're interested in my thoughts about that lens, go ahead and click up here to check it out. The only time I will be talking about the 24 millimeter G Master is when I'm making comparisons. So this video is really gonna be focused on the 40 millimeter bodice. All right, first, some facts. There are four bodice lenses out right now, excluding the one that is coming out. There's the 18 millimeter F2.8, the 25 millimeter F2, and it jumps all the way to the 85 millimeter 1.8 and the 135 F2.8. So we have this giant gap between the 25 and the 85, which leaves a lot of people wondering, when are they going to release a bodice 50 millimeter? And I really don't think they're going to do that because there's a lot of 50 millimeters in the market right now. And Zeiss themselves have a 55.18 and a 51.4 with Sony. So to fill in this gap, they have the 40 millimeter F2. Not quite a 50, not quite a 35, a 40 millimeter, which leaves some people confused. And I get some comments asking me, why do they have such an awkward focal length? Now I've had the Zeiss 35 millimeter 1.4 before, as you guys know, and I regret selling that lens. I was looking to pick that one up again. And I also had the 5518, which I enjoy using on a normal basis as well, in particular weddings. So like many people, I found the 40 millimeter to be kind of weird, but when I actually tried it out, I enjoyed using it a lot more than I imagined. And here's why the close focusing capability. Now the 24 G Master also has close focusing capability, but the magnification on the 40 millimeter is much better. It's one to three versus one to five. Now keep in mind, none of these are macro lenses. So you're not getting one to one like you would with the 90 millimeter macro. But one to three to me is good enough. For me, whenever I'm out at these conventions doing a bit of product coverage, I like to use the 55 millimeter 1.8, but oftentimes I find myself struggling to get really close detail shots of certain products like logos, uh, text, or buttons or whatever. With the 55, I would try to get as close as I can and then punch in a super 35 mode to keep the minimum focusing distance and try to get the shot that way. But with the 40 millimeter, here I am doing a coverage on the new Zhuyun Crane Weeble Lab and I'm getting close up details on the logo, the joystick, the button, the USB ports, all of that. These are the shots that I wouldn't have been able to achieve if I used the 55 millimeter 1.8. And mind you, I did not have to punch into super 35 mode with the 40 millimeter to get the shot. You know the phrase zooming with your feet? Well, the 40 millimeter close focusing really plays into that. You can really just get in close and get the detail shots that you want or pull back and get a nice, uh, a bit of a wide look for the product. So it kind of has the best of both worlds. It has a bit of a wide from the 35 and a bit of a portrait capability of the 50. 
So I'm really leaning towards the 40 millimeter right now, just because it made me realize a lot of stuff that I was trying to do with the 55 that wasn't possible before was made possible with the close focusing capability of the 40 millimeter. For example, whenever we do weddings, I love to use the 55 millimeter for prep, but whenever we need to do ring shots, detail macro shots, we would have to swap over to a 50 millimeter 2.8 macro or the 90 millimeter f 2.8 macro. With that 40 millimeter, I can still get that portrait look and then get in tight and get some nice detail shots of the rings and the invitations. Now I can't say for sure that I'm going to be swapping from the 5518 to the 40 millimeter f2 just because um, a wedding season is kind of over for us right now and I wouldn't be able to test out the lenses, um, won't be able to test out the lens in that kind of environment until the following wedding season. But from the 12 hours that I got to play with the lens at Photo Plus, it really gave me that strong impression. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into reasons why I'm a little bit hesitant on the 24 millimeter G Master and not because there's anything wrong with that lens. A lot of people have been getting their hands on the 24 millimeter G Master and they love it. In particular, that F1.4 aperture. And that F1.4 aperture is gonna be the deciding factor of a deal breaker between these two lenses. And F1.4 lenses is gonna do a lot better in extreme low light condition and giving you more bokeh as opposed to the F2. And I do realize that I'm talking about two different focal lengths here. So if you're at a toss between these two lenses, I would honestly say just go for the 24 millimeter f1.4. One, it's a great walk around lens. Two, it's a 1.4 aperture. Three, it's lightweight and it's small. Four, it has an autofocus manual focus toggle. And five, it has a aperture ring that can go clickless as well. And bonus six, when you punch in super 35 mode with that lens, you're getting a 35 millimeter focal length. The 40 millimeter is also a great walk around lens as well, don't get me wrong, but for anybody who's just starting out and looking to build up a lens collection, I feel like the 24 millimeter would be a good place to start. And if you really need a 50 millimeter focal length, you can get the 50 millimeter 1.8 from Sony for about, I think, was it $300? Now, personally for me, the lenses that I have, the 24 millimeter focal length kind of reoccurs in a lot of the lenses that I have. And that includes the 16 to 35 f 2.8, the 24 to 70 uh, 2.8 G Master, as well as a few of the APS-C lenses that gives me that 24 millimeter focal length. So I have a lot of that already. And yes, I know they're not f 1.4 lenses, but I don't need that many repeats in my collection. But the 40 millimeter though, yes, I do have that range covered, but again, it's because of the versatility and that close focusing distance that makes it really appealing for me to get. But let me know, what would you choose and why? Let me know in the comments down below. By the way, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a comparison between the Bodice 25 and the 24 G Master, and that is definitely coming. I'm trying to see if I can get a review unit in or rent it from borrow lenses to make it happen. So definitely stay tuned for that. So I wanna start doing this at the end of my videos, which are reading some hilarious comments that usually comes in to the videos. Not necessarily a frequently asked questions, but just some funny ones that I come across. And this is largely inspired by Potato Jet just because someone left me this comment right here. You look like a potato jet and a person from the movie Up. Now this isn't the first time that I get mistaken or caught out to look like potato jet. I have a hilarious story that I wanna share with you guys in just a bit, but I'm a huge fan of potato jet. I recently started watching his stuff. He's another content creator, which I believe he does a lot of Hollywood movie production stuff because he has a red camera. Anyways, so, I was watching his stuff and he usually does this with his um, with his followers as well and they always make fun of him for looking like uh, the kid from the movie Up so I just thought it was hilarious and I just like hey why not just do something like this for my channel as well but anyways there was somebody who mistaken me as Potato Jet in real life um, it was at Sony Condo and he was like hey I know you from YouTube. And I was like, cool, man, what's up? How's it going? And, and, and the next follow-up question was this. I heard you sold your red camera. What are you getting now? And I'm like, I don't think I've ever owned a red camera. I strictly shoot with Sony. And he was like, you're not the guy who sold his red camera? I was like, no, that's that's not me. I'm, I'm the other guy. I, I, I do the Sony stuff. He was like, oh, okay, okay. Big fan of your work as well. Anyways, I, I had no idea who he was talking about until I, ta I chatted with Armando Ferreira and he was like, yeah, you kind I, I know who he's talking about. You kind of look like that guy, Potato Jet. And I'm like, who's Potato Jet? 
So I looked them up and I'm like, we look nothing alike. Just because we're Asian guys doesn't mean we look alike. I always get mistaken for Sydney Deongzin and Danny, that one camera guy. Now I get potato jet. So that's the recent trend that's going on. Someone should actually go to his video and say like, hey, you look like Jason Vaughn. Hopefully we can get some uh, collabs going on because I know he's from Los Angeles. Next comment comes from Peg Lake Media. Just a coincidence that you and Sydney both did this review today or is Sony asking you for some reason? Ooh, the conspiracy. No guys, there is no conspiracy. I was actually just as shocked as everybody else that Sydney was going to do a 6500 versus an A7 III video. Well, what was funny was he did an Instagram story. He was like, hey guys, I'm gonna post my review out tomorrow. And then I was like, messaging him, I said, well, guess what? My review is going out tonight. But no, seriously, there's no conspiracy. We just happened to have made the video at the same time. Just because we, I think we both kind of realized that um, Black Friday is coming up and people are gonna be making decisions as to which camera to get. That's, that's why we made the comparison video. But had I known Sydney was gonna make that video, we would have totally collabed. By the way, he's coming to LA. He's coming back to LA for a little bit. So um, hopefully I'll get to hang out with him in a couple of weeks. At 523, Barber, yo, what you want? Customer, give me that iPhone XS Max. Barber, say no more. What? <laughs> okay, I see, the, uh, the, the iPhone notch, okay. Oh, that's hilarious. Louis Corona, you look like Tyler, the creator. All right, that was a lot of fun. Guys, let me know I should keep doing this for future videos. By the way, I will have a first impressions video coming out on the Zuyun Crane Weeble Lab. If it's available, it should pop up right here. If not, stay subscribed to see when it drops in your subscription feed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.